Tapia, are you on track with your Golden Globe race preparations? Yes, I think I'm pretty much so. I'm uh, busy continuing with the sponsorship negotiations and, and uh, also the refurbishment of the boat is uh, well underway in northern Finland. Okay. Do you have already sponsors? Uh, the first first one which I'm uh, allowed to mention publicly is Pihla Jalinna, which is a Finnish healthcare company. But I have a number of other uh, negotiations going on. All right, fine. How you like to start from Les Sables d'Olon in France? I'm I'm pretty happy and enthusiastic of the race uh, starting from. France because the uh, short-handed ocean racing has turned into some kind of a national sport in, in France. Have you ever visited, visited there before? A long time ago, but I'm going to go there in a couple of days for the skipper's meeting. Okay. Are you refitting the yacht by yourself or by professionals? Well, I'm happy to have the uh, boat at the hands of Nordic Refit Center, which is a Nauter Swan authorized uh, refurbishment company with very good professional people doing the work. How big work you are doing there? Huge. The boat will be practically built uh, anew. From, uh, the, there's a, only a, an empty hull there for the moment, but, but soon it will look quite different. What was the, the boat you have? Uh, it's a, an Italian 36-foot uh, uh, Benello Gaia 36 designed by Holin Stevens and, uh, in 1965. And uh, it's actually a predecessor of the Swan 36, so it's a familiar uh, design for Finnish boat builders and sailors. All right, sounds good. Uh, are you planning a book? or documentary film on your Clodon Globe race? Uh, it's a bit uh, early to say, but I'm definitely documenting the, the project and, and the trip and taking pictures and writing my log, logbook, so we'll see. Okay. Have you already done your trial sale and how it was? Uh, I bought the boat in Rome in, in May this year and sailed the boat 3,400 miles uh, to northern Finland, out of which I, I sailed 2,200 2, miles uh, single-handed. So basically I've done my, my qualifier, but I'm looking forward to sail quite a bit more in the spring when the boat is ready. How the uh, boat was feeling? Was that good sailing? Yeah, I fell in love with the boat. I like, like her very much. It's a very seaworthy and fun boat to sail. All right. Do you have a supporting team here in Finland or in Europe? Yes, I'm very happy to have a big group of um, best uh, professionals and specialists in, in Finland helping me, both with designing the re uh, refurbishment of the boat and the rig and the sails and the hardware and, and also, also getting myself into, into shape uh, uh, physically and mentally and, and so on. So I mean, I feel that I'm in good hands. Are you going to sail with the Finnish sails or what kind of sails you are, are going to have? I'm definitely uh, going to sail with Finnish uh, VB sails. With, and uh, VB sails is small but, but very uh, successful Finnish sail loft. All right, that sounds good. How your family feels that you are going to sail <coughs> around the world alone? Well, the first comment uh, from my wife was when she heard of the race and, and my plans to participate was that, well, that race has your name written all over it. And uh, as my whole family are keen sailors, I'm, I, I have strong support from them. Good. Are you really going to start in July 1st from Sablas de Dolon? <laughs> of course, yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, is any chance that some, something is preventing you to go there? No. Good. 
Are you going to take part of Parade of Sail in Falmouth? Oh yes, I'm very much looking forward to that because uh, the history of the race uh, uh, or, or the race has its roots in, in the UK and, and Robin Knox Johnston started from Falmouth and, and this Parade of Sail and the delivery Oops. Oops. And the delivery race from from uh, Falmouth to to Le Sable will will also have uh, Sir Robin on Sueli uh, as a participant and also Bertrand Bernard Moitiers Joshua and uh, uh, Francis Chester's Gypsy Moth uh, will be taking part. So. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. It will be a piece of history. Uh, during the sailing that you are not allowed to use any electrical uh, navigation system. Are you capable to use the sextant? Yes, I am. I, I was practicing using sextant on my way from Italy to Finland and, and I'm uh, going to get a lot, lot more practice <laughs> on the way. What kind of wind wear? self-steering are you planning to use? Well, I, so far I have never sailed with a wind van, so there I still have my homework to be done and I haven't decided yet uh, which, which wind van I will be using, but the decision will be made pretty soon. Is that possible that your boat rolls 360 during the race? Have you think about that? Uh, I don't think it's very probable, but yes, it is possible. And uh, and the whole planning of the refit of the boat and especially the rig uh, as, a, as a starting point uh, that the boat has to stand being rolled uh, both pitch pulled and or, or knocked over 360 degrees and in such a way that I will be capable of continuing the race uh, after the rollover. What do you think about safetyness all over? Are you going to use a wear harness during the? Of course, yes. Uh, the the uh, most important thing is to stay stay on board, and, and uh, I will definitely use the safety harness whenever it's necessary. How long you are going to stay on water? What is your target days around the globe? Uh, well, that remains to be seen. I have no no figure in mind. Thank you. Thanks.